Have you ever stopped to consider the similarities between John Stuart Mill, the influential philosopher, and the Buddha, the enlightened sage of ancient India? It may seem like an unlikely comparison, but delving into their philosophies reveals some intriguing parallels that can shed light on the pursuit of happiness and the meaning of life. Both Mill and the Buddha shared a common goal, to alleviate suffering and promote the well-being of individuals. Mill, a staunch advocate of utilitarianism, believed that actions should be judged based on their ability to maximize happiness and minimize pain for the greatest number of people. Similarly, the Buddha taught the Four Noble Truths, which emphasized the recognition and cessation of suffering as the path to enlightenment and liberation. One striking similarity between Mill and the Buddha is their emphasis on personal freedom and autonomy. Mill famously stated, the only freedom which deserves the name is that of pursuing our own good in our own way. Similarly, the Buddha encouraged individuals to rely on their own experiences and insights rather than blindly following external authorities or dogmas. Both thinkers recognize the importance of individual agency in shaping one's own destiny. Another point of convergence lies in their perspectives on desire and attachment. Mill acknowledged the existence of desires but cautioned against excessive attachment to them, as it could lead to unhappiness and slavery to one's own desires. The Buddha, too, taught that attachment and craving were the root causes of suffering and advocated for a detachment from worldly desires to attain inner peace and enlightenment. In terms of ethics, Mill's utilitarianism and the Buddha's teachings share the common thread of promoting actions that bring about the greatest happiness and well-being for all. Mill believed in the importance of considering the consequences of our actions on others, while the Buddha promoted compassion and the practice of loving-kindness towards all living beings. To illustrate these philosophical ideas in layman's terms, let's imagine a scenario where John Stuart Mill himself encounters the Buddha's teachings. Picture Mill, a man driven by reason and intellectual pursuit, meeting the Buddha, a serene and enlightened being, in a peaceful garden. As they engage in conversation, the Buddha explains the concept of the middle way, advocating for a balanced approach between indulgence and asceticism. Mill, intrigued by this notion, begins to question his own utilitarian framework. He contemplates whether true happiness lies not only in the pursuit of pleasure but also in the cultivation of inner peace and detachment from desires. In this hypothetical encounter, Mill experiences a shift in his perspective, realizing that individual happiness and well-being cannot be achieved solely through external pleasures and material gains. He embraces the Buddha's teachings on mindfulness and the importance of inner transformation. Through this imagined encounter, we see how the ideas of Mill and the Buddha can intertwine, enriching each other's philosophies. While Mill focused on the welfare of society and maximizing happiness, the Buddha's teachings emphasized the importance of personal enlightenment and liberation from suffering. In conclusion, the parallels between John Stuart Mill and the Buddha highlight the universality of human aspirations for happiness and the quest for meaning. Both thinkers, though separated by time and cultural context, offered valuable insights into the pursuit of personal freedom, the nature of desire, and the ethics of promoting well-being. By exploring the teachings of these two influential figures, we can broaden our understanding of the human condition and strive towards a more harmonious and fulfilling existence.